all colors. Unbelievable here. All right, we've arrived on Ensign. It's not even eight o'clock yet. It's like 7.45, we're making great time. We've got a quick paddle across Ensign, which shouldn't take more than an hour and a half to go about five miles. And we've got brutal portages into and out of Vera. Can't wait. Yeah, my feet are hot too. But you can always slip them off or stand in the water. I think the next portage is even harder. It's longer. Well, one and a half portage that. I warned you. I told you. the biggest cedar I've ever seen. Has to be four and a half feet in diameter. Straight as an arrow. Unreal. There's three huge ones here too. All right, we just arrived on Knife Lake. We've been trolling here with some lead weights, two ounce lead weights. Gardner's got a Dr. Spoon on. I have a purple trout looking tail dancer, 20 foot, also two ounce of lead weight. And we both got hit by big fish. Lost them both. So they must just be nipping at the tail or something, but both of our fish felt big. We've also got hung, on on a, hung up on a bunch of reefs already. This is a promising sign. We've been fishing for 25 minutes and already had two big fish nail our baits. Chrome blue and silver, Dr. Spoon, obviously working. That's what this gardener is using. And purple tail dancer. Not surprised. Fall colors are awesome here, but the portage from Vera into Knife is the prettiest portage I've ever done. It was gorgeous. Mushrooms everywhere, little creek. There were, I think, white oak trees at the top of the ridge overlooking Ensign to the south. I think we both agree it was the most beautiful portage we ever done. Brutal though, very difficult. Just a perfect day on Knife Lake. It's like probably 61 degrees right now. And Two mile per hour winds, five mile per hour winds. Thought I saw a moose, it was just a rock. False alarm, everyone. False alarm. Moose are elusive. 215 feet of line out. How about you? You're a madman. Probably a little deeper than I am. We're 
We're about to paddle through the gateway to Knife what? Lake. The Knife Lake? The official Knife Lake? Uh, to South Arm Knife. Sorry. And we're staying on South Arm, right? No. A little knife. We might stay on South Arm at some point to our right. Miles and days from today. Miles and days. Just wanted to share these colors with you. There's a bunch of what seems to be, nah, probably not sumac, probably maples on that cliff ridge over there. Don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's incredible. It's beautiful. It's very dark granite and bright red maple leaves. We're trolling up to Thunder Point here. We're gonna stop, take a break, stretch our legs, go to the bathroom. And then we're gonna keep trolling to Little Knife. We had a few hits on the first mile or so, but nothing across this big water. We've also gone deeper. I've got 250 feet of line out with my tail dancer. To no avail. It seems like our hits were all shallower. To be continued. It started raining on us. Time to get out the rain gear. Temperature cooled down immediately too. It was probably mid to low 60s and now it's probably high 50s. Mid 50s, it's cold. Cooled down real quick. Be a lot of this this week. Kind of reminds me of last year's trip, huh? Yep. <laughs> Just cold and rainy the entire time. Why not? Coming around the corner on knife into little knife. missed off the cliffs up there. So we basically just got to troll straight to that point at 11.45, 12 o'clock right now, and that's our campsite. Action of your Jesus slipped up. Oh, that came out of nowhere. It's like 10 feet deep, and then all of a sudden the boulder. <laughs> scurry. There was one on the other side. Very scurry. What a gorgeous lake. That would be prime time right now. Gotta catch yourself some dinner. We gotta, otherwise we'll die of starvation. I got him. Yeah, can you paddle? Oh, actually, are you so mad? I don't know. He's are smaller than John. I don't know. So it feels like something's there. No, he's definitely still there. I have 65 feet of line out. I think this is a trout. 30 feet, stand down. What are you? 
Oh yeah, that's a trout. That's a good trout. That's dinner if we want oh, it. Oh, perfect sauce trout for me. Okay. Ooh, I don't know, that's pretty big. Oh, he's wrapped. Oh, dude. Nailed it. Oh, he's unwrapped now. First fish. There you go, Eric. There we go. What do you think? That's like a perfect eater. That's a perfect eater. Yeah. That's cool, man. There you go. I almost had first fish this year, and I gave it up. Nice. Half mile into quarter mile maybe into this uh, lake. I mean, there's trout here. Right? Jeez. Oh, what he's gotta be the emerald? 20, 21. Good fish. Running a two ounce inline barrel swivel, 30 pound floral leader. And then pretty much the biggest Dr. Spoon you can get in emerald, silver. Just got that awesome wobble action. I had 180 feet of line out. So this fish is probably at least 30 feet deep. Holy cow, he is still alive and angry. It's not stopped now, we're catching. All right, see if we get another one. Oh yeah, this one feels better. 199 feet, yep, I got him. All right, you can stop the boat. Uh, actually, you need to paddle on the left side. I'm just gonna play him. Could use that boga. What? I said I could use that boga. You might get snagged if you don't reel in. That was immediately, that was... What were you doing? I dropped it down to 180, straight troll again. 180 feet exactly. And I was at 190, there's four out of the lake. 90 feet out. Or 200, I mean. Or shouldn't we be at roughly the same place? He's swimming along with me now. Here we go, 25 feet. Where is he? Oh, now he's turned. Here. Oh. Oh, buddy. Oh, you're the other one, too. I think he's the same size, maybe a little bigger. Same size. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get this one up. He's not hooked as well. Ooh, barely hooked. Stop rolling. Stop rolling. Ooh, I don't have that lure. <laughs> Dude, you just need to get to the right depth. I don't need that lure. Or trout. Is that the fish making that noise? Yeah, he's burping. <laughs> that sort of allows him to go deep and then come back up without hurting themselves and getting bloated. This one's a little smaller. We should have caught that one first. 19? Yeah. See ya! Two! better fish. 150 feet of line out though, it's hard to tell. Hope my battery lasts. All right, 
it's time to fillet the fish, but I do want to measure it to see how big it is. I'm thinking 21, 22. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, easily. There's zero. Yeah, 22 and a half. It's a nice fish. Okay, I'm just gonna harvest the fillets on this. Rather than gut it. Because we're gonna pan fry it. And it's big, so I'm gonna have to cut it up into pieces anyway. Just beautiful meat. Really nice to have a sharp fillet knife. Stomach sample, see what he's eating. <clears throat> oh, very small egg sac. That's too bad. Female. There it is. It's melt. Eating smelt. Those are going to be incredible. Oh, geez, you guys, look, it's a rainbow. Pretty. Well, if that just isn't the most beautiful thing you ever saw, we got blazing sun over here. Got this huge rainbow over our campsite. And beautiful crystal clear water, which we're going to jig in for walleye. finally got some rain <clears throat> it just stopped it's been raining on and off for the last two and a half three hours it's beautiful we might get a short sunset first day was a success traveled 12 and a half 13 miles got two lake trout and a smallmouth bass Smallmouth bass was a monster, 20 inch. And the lake trout we kept was 22 and a half, so the one we let go was probably 21. Three really quality fish. And we only spent about two hours fishing on this lake, if that even, probably an hour and a half. I like those numbers, I'm excited for tomorrow. Should be a full good day of fishing.
into the old nest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this. Oh, this is big. Oh, you guys. Oh. <laughs> this is a good one.